What's up guys and happy Doge Day and welcome to today's video. It seems like everybody wants a slice of Doge these days, including myself as I'm sitting here in my Doge Challenger. So today I'm gonna to show you how to mine Doge on something called Unminable. It's a service that allows you to mine and pays you in Doge or any other currencies that they have available. So we'll head on over to my computer and we'll show you how to mine. All right, so here we are on my test bench. Now, traditionally I run an Ethereum miner on this test bench. Uh, I just turned it off and got ready for this video so I can show you how to use Unminable to mine any cryptocurrency on their website. So let's go here and I'll show you. These are all the cryptocurrencies they have available. They have Cardano, Bitcoin Cash, uh, Batcoin, Dash, Ethereum Classic, Neo, Neo Gas, Nano, uh, Ave, Sushi, just to, just to name a few. So basically what this is, is a pool that you are mining to and they will pay you out in these coins. So think of it like a nice hash, but with way more cryptocurrencies. I think it's probably cooler than nice hash, to be honest, since Knights has only pays you out in Bitcoin. So first things first, head on over to unminable.com. Um, and I'll have the link down below. The link is going to have my referral. I'm just going to tell you straight up. My referral code is down there. But... I suggest you use that referral code too because it is going to help you out, not just me. Using the referral code is going to save you on your fees. So first things first, click on the link I'll put down below, find Dogecoin. And as you can see here, you have multiple mining algorithms that you can use. Uh, we are going to actually use the easy miner for beginners. It is so simple. You just download it, unpack it, and we'll set it up and just hit go and it starts going. For anybody that knows how to set up a miner um, the old fashioned way, uh, you can use all this information here. Here's an example of how to use it in LOL miner. I personally use T-Rex and uh, NB Miner, um, and you can see how you need to set up your address and with the pool and everything. But we are going to use the easy beginner method, and honestly, the hash rate isn't that big of a difference um, because I think they use Phoenix and LOL Miner built in, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. But it is, uh, I don't know, within like two mega hashes of a difference for me. And I have five 3070s. So, all right. Next, once you are here, you're going to want to click download. And you are going to want to download uh, one of these packages. If you want unpacked or packed, I just click the packed one. Open it up. I have it in my downloads already. Um we have it I put it in here so unzip it then and open it up you might get some pop-up saying hey I'm your antivirus and I don't like what you're doing you might need to put an exception in your antivirus for the unminable software uh, that way it doesn't impede your hash rate so after you get this here see right uh, right down here you need to whitelist the following files xmrrig.exe and phoenixminer.exe if the antivirus freaks out. Um, all of their code is, is audited, um, so we know it's safe. So click continue here and it's going to ask you if you want to use your graphics card or your processor. So in this video I will show you how to use the graphics card. Um, because that is what I have in this machine. I do have a processor in here that we can also mine with, but it's probably not worth it to be honest. So here we go. Now you're gonna wanna put your Dogecoin wallet address in here. I've already put mine in. So copy and paste your address down there. And before you hit start, make sure to click, I have a referral code. And you're gonna wanna type in PZ5P 
dash I G E E. And then you're going to want to hit start. Now, the reason you want this referral code, it doesn't just help me out. It helps you out. Also, if we go back over here, you can see that if you have a referral code, you lower your mining fee to 0.75%. Normally, the mining fee is 1%. So you're saving 25% of the fee that you get to keep. Um, the same thing goes for me. I am using the exact same, uh, using the exact same thing, the exact same fee and referral code. So I use my own referral code and I'm saving 25% of the fee also. So once you have that in there, hit start and it's going to start hashing. Now I want to make a couple of changes and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down to this gear and click advanced settings. It comes set, it comes set up on low. For me, this is a mining rig. I want it to mine and make me the most amount of money possible. So I'm going to click high. If this is your personal computer, you might want to click low. That way it's not using the, your entire graphics card and you can still surf around the web. If you don't care and want to make more money, click on high. It's going to use more power. Your graphics card is going to get a little bit hotter, but you're also going to get more Dogecoin in return. Now, there are two algorithms here, ETC hash and ETH hash that we clicked on. Now, I personally want to mine ETH hash. It's more profitable. If you have less than or equal to three gigabytes on your graphics card, you need to use ETC hash. If you have a graphics card with more than four gigabytes of RAM, you're going to want to use ETH hash. ETH hash is what you use to mine Ethereum. ETC hash is what you use to mine Ethereum Classic. It's not as demanding on the RAM, so you don't need as much of it. So um, in here, you can also see the referral code. So if for some reason you didn't put the referral code in at the beginning, uh, let's say you accidentally forgot, that's fine. Come in here and put it in PZ5P-IGEE. -E. Save yourself 25% of that fee. After you click on all that, hit save and restart. It is going to restart the miner. There we go. It started mining. We're at zero mega hashes. The first time you start mining, it is going to take a while to show up on here. So don't, don't get discouraged if you see zero. It can take up to 15 minutes to show up as something else. Now, this is because it's going off of the pool and not what's on your computer. So remember, there's a round trip up to the pool and then back to your computer on how well it's mining. Um, so give it a couple of minutes. As you can see, it kind of shot up. It went to like 60 and then 120. And now it's at 297 for me. Uh, so that's fine. That's within a couple mega hashes. I think I was at like 298 when I was just straight mining Ethereum. Uh, so pretty good. If you have a graphics card and need to do your optimizations, go ahead and do it. I have a 3070, an RTX 3070, and these are the power settings I use in MSI Afterburner. I use 75 on the core, negative 200 on the clock, and 1300 on the memory. Some of my cards can handle up to 1350 or higher. Every card is a little bit different. That's why I usually start at plus 1200 and work my way up until I find something stable. And I usually test everything in this rig. So um, another cool thing you can do is if you click on your address up here where it says address, it is going to take you to the unminable pool website and it is going to show you your balance. So now I have 0 0.11 doge, which is pretty cool considering uh, I am mining Ethereum, but they're giving me Dogecoin. That's, I don't know, that's kind of awesome. I think, I think I'm going to mine here for a little bit, at least for Doge Day, you know, get the, get in the spirit of Doge Day. So it's automatically set here. This little switch is on where it says pay automatically from 30 Doge. So basically, if you get 30 Doge in this wallet, it's instantly going to send it to you. 
Um, if you're planning on mining for a while, it might be wise to click that off just because you want to get more Doge, in other words, less transaction fee. But to be fair, Dogecoin has really low transaction fees right now, so it really doesn't matter. It's not like Ethereum where it costs 10 to $20 to send a dang transaction. Ooh, those gas fees hurt. Um, but they're also nice on the mining side. Anyway, that is how to use Unminable to mine Dogecoin. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more things to come. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. As always, I read everything as fast as possible, usually within a day or two. So if you have any questions, leave it down below. Suggestions for you, future content, leave it down below. Thanks again for coming by, and we will catch you in the next one.